Hey guys and welcome back, my name is Derek and today we're going to continue our epic battle tutorial uh, ticket here. And we're going to look into the next uh, one. Oh, wrong one thing, I want to use this. So we got the first two done here. Now we could go to Pelagia, but I've already done this like way, way back and it's it didn't change so there's really no reason to do this right away. Eventually we'll probably do it if the room keeper. But Let's look at Helm's Dyke. Two, one man, two, pretty easy, both ways. Six man is pretty easy as well. Interesting noise. So we're gonna go in there and do that. I'm gonna just turn this off here for now. Just gonna go in loading. So Helm's Dyke, the good thing is you have time to prepare. Um, this will not start until you talk to gambling over here. So unless you talk to him, this will not start. So what you want to do is, to in preparation for some of the side quests, you want to pick up a catapult. One of the side wins at last, so there's three stages, three attacks. In the last attack you can get a side quest where a siege machine comes in here, attack the gate. Normally what you should do, you know, how the quest was designed, is to have one stand down there, repair the gate, and the other one run around, do arrows. Well, what else you can do is you can put on a catapult, and the catapult can shoot it and kill it in like three shots, giving you platinum even if you do it uh, solo. So you want to do this if you play solo, duo, six man. This is just the easiest way of doing it. All right, and then all you really need is the damage and. The, the the speed du, 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 du. again it, it won't start until we want to so you can decide you know you could build this ballista to to help you shoot down stuff you know, if you want to you don't have to but you know, it all depends all right, next thing we can do um not necessary, I would not do it normally, especially for high DPS class, it's really not necessary, but if you have a very low DPS class, you can put a ballista down here, it's another quest, um, where these orc guys come running here, try to set down the bombs, whoa, 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 whoa. so you can put down a ballista, it can help with these guys, it can help with the boss that comes out, but honestly I would just stand up there and kill them, so I'm not even gonna finish it. Just then you guys know if you have problem with that quest, you just take a ballista. Uh, obviously, you know to really be successful platinum in a solo, you want to be at least rank three. You don't have to be rank six or something. Rank three is what you want to be. All right, I am impatient, so what you could do is you could set down a bunch of barricades. Um, but I'm impatient, so I'm gonna start the quest and see which side do we get first. So it could be either side. Do, 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 do. Ready your defenses. There you go. We go to the right here. Quests we can get is to protect the horses, which is a pretty easy quest. And then uh, also protect the, protect the statue. Both pretty easy. So you want to set down a barricade here as soon as possible. Basically, what you can do, you can. There's enough barricades around here. You can make a line of barricades. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But you can do it. Put up a line of barricades, and basically what will happen is these orcs will die by the time they get up here. And normally, you want to set you know two, three, two barricades on this side, as many as you can on this side, and then a good line on here. Oh, I forgot to pick it up. Where is it? Did it disappear? Oh, there. No. Am I stupid? Oh, there, there. Wow. It's, yeah, <laughs> physics. So just make a nice line. And again, the orcs will die by the time they get up here. Uh, you want to make a line all the way up. This side is going to attack twice. So the first wave and then the third wave. They come from the middle again. So you want to make sure that these guys really don't get hurt. And these barricades, you know, it just, it don't make any sense here. So if you can, dismantle them. And once they come, you know, they take the damage again, slow down. I 
I mean, look at them, they're half dead by the time they get up here. And then you guys can finish them uh, pretty easy. I mean, remember, you can attack stuff while while you build. So these guys, you know, they will kill everything. They will never die. You don't have to worry about it ever again. Alright. So we there's another uh, side here where they attack. So they not only come from here, they're also coming from right here. So you want to pick up some barricades and go over there. One of the side quests will trigger here, so we have to defend the statue of Helm Hammerhand over here, for some reason. We, we get an overrun anyway, so I don't know why we defend it. But anyway, there's going to be trolls coming from here, so you want to have a few barricades here as well. Especially, again, if you have low DPS. Remember that these guys, for some reason, without ever explaining it to us, this is the magic line where you cannot cross, where you start taking ridiculous damage and die. But, and these barricades can be put over it. They don't take damage. It's just us. So again, we're gonna do the same thing. And that way... So we can put the barricade here, that's fine. And we can upgrade it. We cannot walk in there. But we can put the barricade in there and then, you know, these guys are gonna st start taking damage sooner and... It's all uh, great. Oh, we have to repair that one. Because somebody attacked it. Actually surprised. Can we put a shield on it? <laughs> Look at that, we put a shield on it. Helm's Dyke is definitely one of the longer ones, but at least you get three chests. But again, thanks to Turbines, I don't know why decision. Um, you get less rewards out of the Rohan ones and you do get out of the two new ones, so really if you only have a limited amount of time a day or a limited amount of will of playing epic battles a day, you do defense of middle uh, defense of middle earth. Defense of Minas Tirith and the hammer of the uh, underworld underground, whatever it's called. What is it called? Hammer of the Underworld, yeah. Those are the two you wanna do. Oops. It's stupid, but that's what they decided, uh, design-wise, they wanted to go with. I strongly disagree, but show. Alright, so basically here, anything. By the time I get up here, these guys are going to wait there, they're going to hit it, and no orc will ever touch you guys. So you don't have to worry, you could go make yourself a sandwich right now. And you would not lose the instance. Well, you wouldn't get the side quest. Alright, protect the horses is the one back here pretty easy we're actually in a good position we're just right down here if you do the six man there will be a horse back here don't forget about it but these horses uh, actually quite easy to protect they will come yeah, you can already see them and uh, these guys will not attack you, you c well you could force attack them off him but no matter how much damage you do they will not stop attacking them Oddly enough, this horse here in the front is uh, very safe, so they always go for this one and for this one back here. Uh, I like to put down the tripwire because it buys me more time to kill stuff. There you go. And then you can go ahead and meet them like in the front. I did this the very very first time. I saw a button and I was like, oh cool, you can click that and save the horses. I'll show you after this wave. Oh look at that, he went for that horse. I never see that happen. These horses can be healed, you know, if you're a wound keeper, you can just throw them on here if you want to. There's a button on here, I thought that means, you know, you could heal them. But, you know, if you do that, the horse will run away, you will lose platinum. So don't do it. I don't even know why that, ho why that button is there. I'm gonna assume that in the earlier version, the design version of this, it made sense, but now it, it just doesn't make any sense. You don't have to worry about these guys, these guys are totally safe. Alright. Um, kill more guys. I mean, whenever they're standing close together like this for a runekeeper, that's good. Because we can uh, throw down some AoE. We see, they mostly go for this one and then for this one. So that's why if you have traps, that's where you want to put them. And I'm gonna put trap in here. 
There we go. Whoa. Alright, we got these guys. Alright, and they're dead. One more. Uh, six wave, one more wave, and we're good. We're safe. It's a super easy quest. Um, if you're guardian, you, know, you might not have the DPS, but you can taunt them. And otherwise, you know, hopefully you get the DPS to deal with this. And then again, you can heal the horses, you can you know, do things. Yeah, they're going for that one again. If they get hit, that's fine. I mean, as long as the horse doesn't get you know, taken down, basically. Oh, they went for the one in the back. There we go. We even got a platinum um, style of merit box. Alright. So you now we're basically done with that side. There's nothing. You know, these guys, the barricades are strong enough. Um, we don't have to help them. So what I would do next is... Well, I want to put one more barricade here just to be safe, and then we're gonna put barricades on this side for when the attack goes over there. Uh, interesting. I'm not sure, but okay. Du, 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 du. So yeah, I wanna just to be safe. I'm gonna put down. Uh, looks like there's a little gap here. Just put this one. Well, I kind of fell in there again. The the damage will stack, so they will come and just die. You see, you guys take any damage? Oh, I I moved too soon. Hey, of course you lose all the progress. Yeah, makes sense, right? Alright, now you can see they take uh double the damage. I mean, these guys will not have any problems um, you know, dealing with this. So let's go over to the other side and start building it up. Remember, you have to have catapults up here. So a quest we can get here, and uh, we can get the Dunlings coming, trying to um, breach the gate. There's really nothing you can do to prepare for it, but it's relatively simple. And then uh, we can have the guys attack to uh, try to attack the watchtower, which just means there's going to be extra waves coming over here. Try to place this you know, far in here as you can. Upgrade the damage. What you basically want to achieve is that these guys are going to have a long, long route through these barricades and you know, pretty much dead up there. The barricades can hit as many targets as the one, and you know, they hit them all. So if you have 50 guys going for there, you know, that barricade is going to damage 50 guys, which makes it nice. And we're going to replace these barricades, do the same thing. You only need those two uh, for these guys to be safe. There's no quest that will come in here, at least not in the three man. Uh, six man is a little different. Okay, and just, this one you don't want to put as deep down. These guys will fight somewhere around here, so that's where you want your barricade to be. Alright, got that done. Okay. It's a it's it's a very boring one. It's an epic battle, they're not very exciting. And we're just placing these barricades. Be safe. You could speed this up by using this uh, ballista that was sitting there. And if after we're done with all these barricades, there's still nothing happening. Yeah, we're gonna use the ballista. All right. You could set them to two handstands, but it's extra more clicks you have to do. All these barricades are absolutely useless. Just dismantle them. Put a nice line here. You want to make the line go this direction. Reason for that is. One side quest is they're trying to attack this tower, so they will come, get around there. So the more barricades you can get, the easier it will be. And even if you get the quest where you have to defeat the stone carriers, 
there will also be extra waves coming in that try to get to the archers. Alright, so the next wave again. This is done, that will come from here and here. But we already we're ready for it. And then the final wave will be you know, the two middle ones. No matter where I come, they kind of run over here. You kind of maybe you want another one here, but I'm thinking about that side quest. They will, you know, hit this volley pretty close, run around to here and try to get the tower. So you kind of want to build a line of barricades in there, just to make it easier and um, make sure those guys die. Because once they get through, these guys normally don't attack them anymore. Uh, there we go. Again, <laughs> epic bells are always best played with you know, Netflix in the background or some YouTube stuff. As you can tell, it's not very engaging. And then last barricade you're gonna put like this. So now if they try to get to that tower, you know they have to go for all of this, get attacked by these guys, and they're not gonna make it. Um, you know, there's more barricades you can get. You could move the barricades from over there, over here. Um, it's all stuff you could do. Ooh, there's one more here. I wanna kind of wanna move one right here. I mean, I do get hit still, but not as much as I would like to. See now they're out here already, so we need definitely need a barricade there. It's like right here. You don't want to place the barricades; it makes most logical sense. You just want to cover as much space as possible. I think these guys don't even make it. All right, are we ready for anything? We can get again. We can get the stone carriers, or we can get the tower. Stone cares are probably the most of good quest towers, it's super easy. So we have nothing to do. We might as well use this. Don't try to shoot these guys. Well I guess you could shoot whatever whichever side you want to. Uh actually let's up the damage. We don't have a catapult, we'd only have ballistas. Kinda of boring, but no it is what it is. And there's all the Uruks there, nice lightning. And then we'll see what happens. Alright, where are we exactly? Oh, we're way over there. So ballistas work a little bit different than the catapults. You only have, you only have to crank them once and then you can shoot. But you also have to aim up and down if you want to go further. So here's perfect. Just gonna crank it, shoot. Oh, we have to load again. Oh, I forgot about the loading. And it doesn't do much damage. Do we have the damage upgrade? Yeah, wow. Just two guys. Four archers. Well, oh, that's a little better. So we're gonna do this until we trigger the, the main quest, basically. The main quest, the side quest. So these guys are gonna move up now. Well, we're gonna welcome them. Four commanders. Uh, that's a good shot. Very engaging, I know. Alright, just gonna do this until we get our side quest. Hey, you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it to speed the quest up a little bit. It will we'll go over faster, the whole battle. Alright, uh, we got the easy one. Honestly, I don't think we'll even have to do anything. But just to be safe. So there's gonna be extra troops coming from here, trying to get to the tower. Yeah, just put uh, some traps out. 
just be safe and then, you know. It's just a normal wave of guys, let's just help. Here you go, this is the extra wave, the scrappers. And they will try and the scouts. They will try to get the, the tower, the saboteurs. Uh, but I mean, look at them, they're not gonna make it far. They do have 19,000 hit points, but look at that. It's super slow, slow down like crazy. And now they're gonna reach our soldiers, and they're dead. See if anybody makes it through. It would surprise me quite a bit if somebody makes it through. Looks like we might need a trap right here. Should be safe. Yep, yeah, look at this guy. Eh, almost. Pressed. So we, you know, we could bring more barricades over here to help this. But... Whatever, we'll just... We'll just help out. Gives us something to do. No, oh, we already triggered the next stage because of the use of the ballista. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Again, the squares can finish alone if you have the barricades. If you have the barricades and the damage, if you don't have the damage upgrade, you gotta help. Because if you don't have the uh, damage upgrade, which you need rank five for an engineering, and these barricades will just slow them down. You still want to set this up. But we probably just want like one or two barricades. You don't need this whole line. Boom. Bye bye. Almost done. One more wave. Is that last wave? Oh, there's a sub turn there. Should be the last wave then. Once this guy's dead. There you go. <sighs> Super easy. Alright, and now we wanna spawn the last quest basically. Last quest could be the trying to attack the gate back here. Or the siege machine, which we have the catapult set up for. So we're just gonna sit there and do this again. Gonna for a second I read like 33, but it's just two threes next to each other. Yeah, we're killing more right now because there's basically still the old wave in here and the new one. It's, you know, you know, you know. How long are we doing this? 23 minutes already. It's a long, it's a long epic battle. I really wish they were like, you know, four or five epic, uh, I don't know, how many do we have? Eight? So four epic battles are very fast, you can get done within 15 to 20 minutes, and then four that are longer, but you get like more reward. So you know, if you want to do a quick one, you can do a quick one, but if you have time, you, know, you can do a longer one. But whatever. Because it doesn't really matter if you do three men or six men, the, the time is going to be the same. Oh, we just keep doing this until we spawn either the siege machines or the trying to attack the gate from the other side. That's really all we can do. Hey. Alrighty, come on. Any time now, game. Speeding us up, because otherwise you know, we're gonna be stuck here for quite a while. Wish I had a catapult and could do it. There we go, powder at the gate. Alright, so we gotta go to the gate. 
Why am I not? Hostile. Alright, so what you want to do here is there's going to be orcs running around with uh, black powder uh, kegs. They're going to try to reach the gate over here and destroy them. They will put them down first, so if you can't kill them in time, it's fine. You can use the ballista if you want to. I Honestly, I think every class, they only have 20k. If you're an AoE class and your champions have it very easy, obviously the runekeeper have it very easy. But if you don't make it, they will put down the keg. You haven't lost yet. Just, you know, destroy it and you're fine. The spawn right here and right here, so you can stand up here and do some damage. Oh, actually, closer. So this guy should die from the bleeds. It's a nice thing about the runekeeper. These guys, you know, they will attack the Rohirrim up there. You dude should be fine. You can do a bleed on them, but I wouldn't really worry about them. They're not gonna kill them. And now it's just a waiting game. How many do you have to kill? Does it say? No, it doesn't say. Alright, more. So again, as a runekeeper, all we have to do is put a couple of those on there. Smaller than we have the other one, and then we can finish this one. Very easy. I mean, obviously, if you want to, you can put down a trap if you need the extra help. Don't try to trip wire. These guys cannot be stunned. So. <laughs> they will soon have a break. Yeah, this is a little bugged out because uh, of the ballista use. That's, I mean, this is how old? Two years? They never really you know, looked into that. Does the other guy have bleeds on him? No, he doesn't have a bleed anymore. Alright, so we gotta do something to him. Do you resist? Do you put on a thing? No, we're good. He resisted all my bleeds, which is bad. Alright, there's this boss. You know, again, for my runekeeper, he's not priority. You wanna kill these guys are priority. The boss is not gonna be able to kill you guys either. But, you know, I like. Let's go over there. Look at him. He's almost dead, basically. There you go, he's dead. Alright, let's take care of these guys. They should uh, die from the bleed. There's one dead. There's the other one dead. Uh, again, it's it's a very easy quest. And then if we wanted to, we could put on another trap. Kind of one wave goes kind of close to here, to the water. He, you know, he's almost dead, basically, from these traps. So if you do it in a duo, you know, one side you could just put on traps and you're fine. Does he have a bleed on him? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pick where there's more. I'm gonna use my OE skills here. Look at this big wave incoming. Let's hit that with a uh, combustion real quick. Just to help my guys. This guy's almost dead from the traps. I think these will die too, but you know. Oh no, this one is actually pretty healthy. So it's this one. Look at him. Look at him go. Did he put something down? Uh, he didn't put a trap down, so we're good. And get this. Get this. Get him. There you go. There we go. We got it. Um, get all the side quests on platinum. Now you can go make yourself a sandwich because you're not gonna lose. Your troops are not gonna lose to this. Or you can try to speed it up by you know, building this ballista. The other side should be pretty much shut down as well. Yeah, there's one troop left. Here we have two troops left. So let's get this ballista going here real quick and use it. To f to um, kill some of these guys and speed up the process of you know 
Hey, I already won, but I cannot finish the quest because, you know, there's still trash that's come towards me. Woohoo! Huh? Up the damage and the speed. Oh, come on. And speed. Speed is not as important for ballistas as it is for uh, catapults because you only have to crank it once. But, you know, it helps. The one time does help. Oh, you're actually over there already, and that's good enough. Can thin out these guys in the back here. Ah, and we're just waiting for this to be finished. 30 minutes of pure excitement. My rewards are pretty good since you have three. Well, you get four um, boxes overall. You get three from the side quest and then one for the you know, for finishing it overall. <laughs> kind of ridiculous how to fly around. Out of especially you know the fly from like over here where you didn't even hit, boom! <laughs> oh well. Oh well. Oh, this is almost done. It should be done. Come on, game. Just let me out. It should stop after you've done the last side quest. Because there's really, there's no purpose in this anymore. It's like this side doesn't even leave any arc over there anymore. What is this? Okay, there we go. We, we won. Cool. Platinum. Um, so we got all platinum rewards. Let's see if we got anything good. Well, I don't care about the earring. 50 stars of merit. Oh, those are our merit box. 25 here, 25 there, 15. 30. Yeah, we only got married. We got nothing good. Uh, great. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, all I have for this. That's how you can do Helm's Dyke solo or platinum. Very easy. In the six minutes, very easy. You could probably um, three minute if you have enough DPS. It's definitely one of the easier ones. Thanks for watching. See you next time.